everybody, welcome back. Episode 8 of the Ask J Show. It's October 28th, two days away from my birthday, my born day, uh, October 30th. So I'm excited about that and good mood, good vibes, making some big decisions for my academy. We will be opening enrollment December 1st. That's a stone now. Classes should be starting January, what did we say, 11th? Yeah, I think so. Right. So anyway, the Wealth Builders, this whole wealth building mission is on its way. I'm excited about it. I promise everyone a daily, day with, excuse me, daily Ask J video. And so this is my best open time right now. I was leaving them all. I just had a little snack, what we call a snacky snack. I had a little snacky snack in the mall, and now I'm about to get back to work. But before I locked in into the man cave and got my work done, I wanted to give you guys this content in an Ask J format. So I got Chris Darden behind the camera. I only got 8% of my battery, so we're going to fly through these five questions and give you your Ask J for the day. All right, so question one is from at Brandon Boston Up. Okay. How, how long after bankruptcy will the bank give you an FHA loan? And when is the next enrollment date? Okay, so next enrollment date, December 1st, we just said that. Um, in regards to bankruptcies and loans in FHA, I believe it's two years after Chapter 7, and it may be, it's more than two years or some other stipulations with a Chapter 13 bankruptcy. So it depends what bankruptcy was filed, and your mortgage company can easily tell you that information. But I'll, 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 I've already read, I know the FHA, FHA, I believe it's two years. All right, cool. So we got at Roy So Wavy. Where can I find a good wholesale contract template? In the Jay Morrison Academy, we have great wholesale templates. But um, you may be able to find them online as well. And so you can Google it, Google search it. You always can go to your attorney, title agent, or escrow agent, and have them draft you something that is specific for you, your state, and your needs. Just make sure you have the proper clauses and contingencies in there to make sure you don't get caught. Uh, holding a deal that you don't want to hold. Gotcha. So next question is from at Wolf Real Estate. And Wolf, what's up? Before the mentoring and educational endeavors, how many and what business did you start during your journey? I have had several, and I want to say over a dozen companies. Um, I mean, up to this point in. My, my life, and I just wouldn't call it educational endeavors. I mean, we still have a real estate company, acquisitions, investment, asset management. Um, I've had a school uniform collection, which we're still going to be relaunching, Young Minds Ken. I've had two nonprofits, Project Culture Change and Home Left Behind Foundation. I've had a courier service, GNC Courier, where uh, I partnered with some gentlemen who had an ongoing business. I've had the League Restaurant and Lounge. I've had um, obviously my first Mr. Real Estate Company. I've had dozens of other independent LLCs for real estate projects for uh, development companies, investment projects, uh, companies that own real estate assets and partners in investments. And I've had a record label, Royalty Family Music Group. I've had a promotions company. So I've had, oh, I've had a staffing agency or a partner staffing agency. So I've had my hands in a lot of different businesses and different ventures. Um, just through the course of my continued journey in entrepreneurship and building wealth. Gotcha, gotcha. So the next question is from at Jay Porter. And what techniques did you use to get those around you to support and join your mission? I think the best technique that I've used to get such a following and so much support is just being me and being authentic and being real. So the more that I've tried to fit into any kind of mold or to impress people in a certain way, the less I've been, I guess, successful and have and slow my, my um, momentum down. So by just me doing the wake up video, it's like raw passion, emotion, just me being me and letting out my thoughts and just being who I am. Me doing this Ask J platform, this is me being me. And I don't care if you like it or you don't like it, it's still just me being me. So I think the more that I've been authentic to me, uh, is the more that people have actually bought into me because they can see that I'm transparent, that I love my community, that I have a wealth of knowledge, a lot of expertise, I've had a lot of success, and I genuinely want to give it back. I think that's starting to show more and more and more. I just want to just myself and my colleagues. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Gotcha. So last question. We got like three percent left. Last and final question. This question is from Ryan Timms. A lot of our black, a lot of our black leaders always preach about the injustice done against us or the violence. And they never stress enough the importance of food we eat in our culture that is killing us off as well. Check the statistics. What are your thoughts on nutrition in our community? Because somebody in sound mind is both important. Because sound, oh, sh sound oh, body probably. Gotcha. Because sound body and sound mind is important. I totally agree. We, we do not stress enough on um, Minister Farrakhan at the Justice or Else Million Man March. He did talk about that. Like what we eat and, and how we're killing ourselves in the kitchen. Um, so I think it very is important, health and wellness, how we work out, how we eat, balancing our meals, um, not overeating, like all those things do play. Like I talk about with even my daughters, I don't like them eating so much fast food because I don't want those extra hormones and all that kind of stuff that's in all, in all artificial food. So I think how we treat our body, how we treat our temple, um, spiritually, physically, the food, the mental food we feed ourselves, what we read, what we listen to, what we watch on TV, all those things affect our, our progress. Uh, I put something up on Instagram the other day to just talking about how bad character could ruin, or how bad influences could ruin good, ruin good character. Or something to that effect. It's the same thing. Bad food could ruin a, a great body. And, and, and bad reading or bad music intake or bad media intake could also ruin a good mind. So it's very important within our community as we fight for justice that we do treat ourselves just and accordingly. So that was a very great point. And um, I'm glad we got through all five questions of Ask Jay. I'll answer anything. I don't read these before I get them. I would like to uh, respond on the spot so it's always authentic and just pure. Um, subscribe to the channel. Like the videos. Share the videos. Comment in the question box or comment on Instagram, social media, YouTube, Twitter, whatever. And for any real estate needs, any coaching needs, any online learning, any kind of empowerment on building wealth, you guys can go to jmorrison.net and seek us out there. And I look forward to seeing you guys on our wealth building tour that will be coming up. All right. Peace. I'm out. As Jay, episode eight is out the way. Tomorrow, we'll be back again. One love.